Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can mirror your Android device on your Windows 11 operating system using a tool called Screen Copy or SCRCPY. Screen Copy is a free and open source tool, so you can use it freely. And let's see how we can download it first. And I'm going to demonstrate how you can mirror your Android device using that tool. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for SCRCPY. And the first result which you will see here will be from github.com forward slash Jenny motion forward slash screen copy. So just uh, click on this GitHub link. I'm going to put this link in the description of this video also. So you can directly click on this link and come to uh, this website. Now in here, when you will uh, scroll down, you will be able to read more about uh, screen copy, what it can do. It says this application provides display and control of Android devices connected via USB, right? Now, when you scroll more down here, you will be able to see how you can get this app. And for Windows, you have this download link here. So I'm going to click on this download link, which is in front of this windows. And what this is going to do is it's going to start the download of this zip file. So once this zip file is downloaded, you just need to go to the location where it's downloaded and you can just, uh, just cut it from here and just paste it wherever you feel comfortable to uh, place this uh, file on your windows 11 operating system. What I generally prefer, I generally try to go to my C drive and here I create a folder with the name SCRCPY. So I know that uh, this is the destination and it's easier to remember also, right? And once this folder is created, I'm going to paste this zip file which I have downloaded and then you can extract this file using any tool. Windows also provide you uh, a tool to extract this file so just right click on it and then click on extract all and then you just need to provide the destination so i'm going to extract all these files to the same folder which is called scrcpy okay so c uh, colon backslash scrcpy and then click on extract which is going to extract all the files in the same folder so you can see all these files are extracted here after extracting this uh, zip file, if you want to delete this zip file from here, it's okay. So once you have extracted this file, what you need to do? So you can see there is this executable file here, which is called scrcpy, which helps us to uh, just uh, run our Android device and mirror our Android device on our Windows 11 operating system. So once you once again go to this GitHub website of screen copy and when you scroll down you will be able to see how you can use it so you can see under run you just need to give this command on your command prompt or your terminal in order to connect your android device to your windows 11 operating system so let me show you how you can use it you have two options to use this file one is if you don't set the environment variable then you need to every time go to the same folder and from here you need to open the terminal so right click and then open in windows terminal or you can open the command prompt from here just write cmd and then open the command prompt and then cd to this folder okay so right click and then open in terminal it's going to open in the powershell you can see here and you can also see that this uh, folder is c colon backslash screen copy now at this point you need to connect your android phone via usb cable to your windows 11 operating system it's same like charging your android device using the windows 11 operating system so now i have connected the android device on my windows 11 operating system so after connecting, you just need to type this command scrcpy.exe on PowerShell. Okay. So on PowerShell, you need to type the full name, which I have typed here. So just type exactly what's written here and then press enter. And once you press enter, your Android device will be mirrored on your Windows 11 operating system. So you can see 
my Android device is mirrored now and you can see that uh, I can uh, see my Android device and you can see that my Android device is mirrored on my Windows 11 operating system. Now, if it doesn't work for some reason, then you might need to enable the USB debugging on your Android device, right? So you can see right now the USB debugging is connected on my Android device. So I'm going to also show you how you can enable this USB debugging on your Android device towards the end of this video. Just watch this video until the end and I'm going to show you how you can enable this and then it's going to work on your Windows 11 operating system. Now when you are done, you just need to press Ctrl C on your terminal and then the mirroring will stop, right? Let me show you how you can do the same on the command prompt. So just copy the path here and then search for CMD here and then just cd and then press the path which is c colon backslash screen copy and here once again after connecting your android device you just need to write scrcpy here dot exe is optional you can just write scrcpy and then press enter on your command prompt on on powershell i think you need dot exe extension so once again, you can see this Android device is mirrored on my Windows 11 operating system. Now, let me show you one more thing, which is every time you can't go to uh, this folder and then open the terminal, right? So for example, when I open the CMD and I'm in the different folder other than this screen copy folder, and let's say I want to uh, run this command from here. For this, I need to set the environment variables. So for now, when I write SCRCPY, this command will not be recognized, right? It says SCRCPY is not recognized as an internal or external command. So for that, what you need to do for setting the environment variables, just copy this path and then search for environment variables. Okay, so just write uh, environment variables in the search uh, bar and when you type first few letters of environment, you will be able to see uh, this option which says edit the system environment variables. You need to open this, just click on this and then click on environment variables option here. And once you are here, you need to select path environment variables and double click on it or you can click on edit here. Now at this point, you just need to paste this path at the very bottom so whatever you have copied just paste it here in my case it's c colon backslash screen copy and then press enter and then click on ok and then click on ok and then click on ok once you do that you will be able to run this screen copy command from anywhere from your windows file system so once again when i open the command prompt and this time you can see i'm in the different folder other than screen copy but still, when I write scrcpy command here and then press enter, it recognizes this command and connects my Android device on my Windows 11 operating system. And I will be able to mirror this uh, Android device on my Windows 11 operating system. Now, in case you face any problem uh, related to the mirroring of your Android device on your uh, operating system using screen copy you just need to enable your usb debugging on your android device so let me show you how you can enable your uh, usb debugging on your android device if you face any problem so once again i'm going to just show my android screen uh, by scrcpy command so you can see my um, android device and then you just need to go to the settings here in order to enable uh, the USB debugging. So once the settings open, you just need to go at the very bottom where it says about phone and click on about phone. And then uh, just go to the build number and press it a uh, few times. So after pressing few times, you will see that the developer option will be enabled on your Android device. So when you go back, you will see this developer option uh, which will be enabled. So just click on the developer option, go inside that and make sure that this uh, top developer option 
has been enabled so you just need to enable the top uh, developer option and then you also need to make sure that under debugging section your USB debugging is on so you need to enable this if it's not enabled so, so just make sure that you have enabled your USB debugging and then uh, you just uh, enable all the options related to USB uh, debugging okay so if you do that definitely uh, this method is going to work on your uh, Android device so this is how you can uh, mirror your Android device on your Windows 11 operating system using uh, USB cable.